What's up, YouTubers? This your boy, Tikiwaga, here with another video. And uh, this video is about... Okay, I'm going to make a... Long story short, my phone was acting weird, and then I reset the phone, factory reset it, take the SIM card out, reset it up to brand new, and once I got it set it up like I wanted to again, Android 6.0 update appeared. And um, I was on a T-Mobile bill for those users that still haven't got the Nexus 6 uh, to update to Android 6.0 on OTA instead of flashing and rooting. Which might have been smart on your behalf for not rooting or flashing due to warranties and all craziness. But, you know, people love rooting and people love flashing and then... Those be the main ones complaining. Uh, I got issues and bugs and lags. So I was just wait on the OTA. And I've been waiting for like a month now. Yeah, actually a month. Um, uh, exactly a month. So there you have it. I have um, now Android 6.0. Um, I've been playing around with it for the past few hours. Uh, ever since I uh, got it to update and upgrade. Um I really like the animations. I don't know if you guys seen the animations, but I really do like the animations. Um, it's this new thing um, you get with Android 6.0 where you get the uh, the system UI tuner. It lets you uh, get a little quick customization uh, with the toggle um, and stuff like that. You can take away things you don't need or you can add tiles. You can... Um, Move them in any direction. You can rotate them, switch them around, things of that sort. And now, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, also, you have the battery percentage um, that you can see. I don't know if you can see it on this, but um, it actually shows the battery percentage within the actual like battery icon. So that's pretty decent. You got the demo mode, of course. Uh, it'll show you how everything looks. And that sort if if you want the demo mode on. Um how you get the user, uh the system uh UI toner. Um basically you go here, you scroll, and you hold that down. You hold it down and then it's supposed to load up and then it'll say remove or add. I say cancel because I already got it. And you can also still get developer options. Um, if you know how to do that, you just tap the your bill like seven times. You tap that seven times, and you'll get the uh, developer option. But I haven't really messed with that. Also, what you get new with Android 6.0, um, you'll you'll see uh, new tabs in the settings: uh, storage and USB. If you got um, okay, we got Explorer. I see. I didn't even, I didn't even think to um, look that up, but I know I seen in other videos they showed the Explorer. So you don't really have to download any solid Explorer applications, anything like that with Android 6.0. Um, it'll break down like how, how where your data is going, and if your cache is getting you know, up, you gotta clear that, of course. Uh, how much um, memory your app's taking up, images, video, audio. That's all breaking down to now. Um, also, memory. It'll show you how much memory you've been using RAM RAM wise um, in the past. Three hours, I think three six nine, uh, no three six twelve then then twenty four hours, and um, how many apps are using the memory in the past recent hours? So that's pretty cool. Um, also, a big uh, major advantage. Okay, it's Google Now on tap. I have that squared up. Okay, got the little NBA. So I'm gonna hold down the home button. Let's see what happens. And it'll give you information on whatever you screenshot on the screen. So I'm watching an NBA video on YouTube. It's giving me information on all the NBA players that's been talked about, featured, or that they can recognize in the uh, the video. So that's pretty much it. I mean, other than that and those, I haven't tested out those yet, but I will. And you got to uh, do not disturb. You could set that, and you could change the priority. It sort of had that. I mean, it already had it in Android uh, 5.0, but it's more in detail and more informative now in 6.0. And um, 
the animations are pretty cool. Uh, let's try the camera. If, if you notice how the, the camera opened, uh, let's see. Let's say it again. Let's try another app. We're going to try a Play Store. Just watch the animation of, see, basically it pops out like wherever the application's at. And w when you press, it'll open exactly where the application was at on your home screen or whatever. And, of course, you still got your Google now. So that's nothing new. Um, the volume rocker, the volume up and down. You can actually get in more detail with that. So you could change your alarm, you could change your music, your audio, or your notification sound. Uh, right now I got the um, disturb turned on. I'm going to turn it off. Boom. There you go. Um, and, yeah, that's that's pretty much self-explanatory. I mean, it's, it's a few minor, you know, uh, tweaks and changes. Like, in certain routes, like, you, you couldn't change the toggles, like right here, you can change all that, but now when you unlock the uh, the system UI tuner, you're able to do that, you can move the uh, toggle icons however you want it, or you can take them away or add some new ones, so that's pretty much, that's pretty cool, um, like I said, I like the animation so far, uh, I like uh, Google Now on tap, I was using Bing Snapshot, everybody know I was using Bing Snapshot. But I, I, um, I've been playing with Google now on top, been showing my parents uh, just what Google got going on and all that stuff like that. And, um, yeah, it, it seems to be working. Um, like I said, before I had the 6 point recently, like today, for some reason, an application, I don't know which app it was, but it was, like, rebooting my phone, like, constantly. And then, like, I just said, elf it, you know. So, I did the uh, factory reset. Took the SIM card out. I'm on Project 5. I still got Project 5. And for those that's using Project 5, it's, it's working. It's still working smoothly. Project 5 is still working. Um, I have no issues. I told my dad give me a, a a call and see if I can receive any calls. I didn't have to reactivate my SIM card or anything like that. But, of course, like when you do have to reinstall the app, it will say activate. But... You already activated because your sim's activated, so you have to worry about your sim or anything like that. But um, so far in the past few hours with 6.0, I mean, I, I like it. It's cool. You know, you get the uh, marshmallow. Oh, well, speaking of that, my fault. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get into the uh, the um, Easter egg. Okay, we're going to get into Easter egg. And you can see I got Android 6.0. I don't have the latest software update. I mean, not software, but system update yet. Uh, I mean, security update, but I'm getting that soon. Don't even worry about it. Okay, so I'm tapping. And as you can see, it's Marshmallow. It's official. It's just the OTA. It's not root. It's not flash. So there you guys have it. And this is the new game. They have a timer on it. Uh, it's It's got really harder to play it. I only passed, I only got one. So, now you see it. This is Marshmallow. Alright? So, yeah. Alright, uh, if you have any questions or concerns about Android 6.0 and Marshmallow, uh, let me know. Leave comments down below. Subscribe to the channel. I have my full review soon, probably in the next few more days. Still work, um, working with it, playing with it. Like I said, I got to test out the dose. Everybody want to know about the dose. Is it really saving you battery life? Uh, I'm going to let you all know if my battery life has changed since 5.1.1. Um, I've been averaging just about a full day. Not It just depends on my usage. And like I said, like um, recently, it's, certain apps been, you know, messing up my phone. So, you know, I'm keeping it all Google stock right now just to, you know, get a feel for Android 6.0, see what was hot, what's not. All right, it's your boy. I'll take you out, guy. Peace.